Hey Libra, welcome to your November reading, monthly reading. So let's find out what's going on with Libra in love, in life, and everything in between. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, Libra. Wow, you're launching a lot of things, talking, blessings, new projects, new engagements, everything. There's a lot of movements happening in your life. So if you have been feeling sluggish um, or tired in, um, in, this, in, in the previous month, you could expect that there would be a lot of movements, fiery action-oriented type of activities in the month of November. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. There's someone that you're ignoring or someone who is ignoring you, or just somebody that you probably have lost interest already. Okay? Libra, you could be dealing with Leo, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, I, I feel like it's not that you're distracting yourself, but more of you have a lot of things going on that will keep you passionately engaged you know, with your activities. And in terms of love, it seems like it may have been deprioritized on your end, or it will be deprioritized because deprioritized, it doesn't mean that you don't really think about it. You do think about it, but you don't take the... Um, like initiative to continue talking to someone every day, for example. You might just want to talk to them once every two weeks, <laughs> something like that. But I mean, it's more of if it happens, if it, ha if it happens, it happens. You know, if they call, you pick up. Or sometimes if you need something, you call them. And if they pick up, you talk a little bit. Or, you know, that type of energy. But there's no... As, there's... N not much eagerness to really um, engage a lot just because there's a lot of things that are happening in your life. But I see someone here who may be Libra who feels something deep about you. Something who is feeling, um, something, somebody who has feelings for you but perhaps they're just dreaming about this or thinking about this. They haven't really expressed this it much. Especially now they see that there's... Okay, let's see. Let me just... It's your monthly reading, so let me just do some clarifications of the cards, okay? Eight of Wands, what is this? A busy Libra. Yeah, for, for some of you, if you are in a situation where it's not giving you any happiness, it's not giving you satisfaction, you know, in a relationship, for instance, there's, it's no, there's no reciprocity. It's just too much to bear for a Libra, right? It's not fair, you know. So I feel like you will easily just drop it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're looking for some, you're, you're, you want a connection Libra that gives you emotional happiness. Uh, somebody who would be attentive to making you happier. Yeah. And vice versa. And at the same time, you want um, a, a connection that is passionate. Yeah. Something that could give you butterflies every now and then. Or something that, uh, a connection wh which makes you feel alive. <laughs> right, Libra? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, it could even be that you have a new person coming on board in your life. New connection, new love, new romantic love. You're really looking for a two of cups type of energy. And I feel like this is something that is coming towards you in this month. Yeah. All right, let's see. What is this lover's? Well, at this point, Libra, you very well know that physical connection is there. Okay, fine. But more of you want a connection that um, 
entails more. So, as somebody that you can connect, let's say, emotionally, you can be vulnerable to this person. You can talk to them. There's that back and forth of ideas, of support, um, emotional support. At the same time, if you want to talk about um, astronomy or astrology, you know, this would be somebody that could uh, bring something on the table that could stimulate or excite your mind as well. And um, that's definitely what you want out of a relationship. And to you, it's not just about how good looking the person is. Well, that matters in the beginning, but more of you want more depth into a connection. And likely, that is something that you're, you're, if you find that, that is something that you will be settling with yeah, or open to settle with. Now, you have someone who, like I said, who has been um, ruminating about this idea that um, they are connected to you or they have feelings for you, but perhaps it's not really very well expressed. And um, although this person sees a potential based on how they know you, they see the potential that you both could be in in a relationship they see a potential that you both can be good, the good match, yeah, if you will be in a relationship. Yeah, and this is someone who is looking for a relationship. Let's see. Who is this? Or this person knows that you are looking for one. Yeah, and they want that too. Someone who wants a um, serious type of connection with you. Yeah. This is someone who has been analyzing what you may have talked to in the past. You know, if you if you're relating, if you related to this person in the past through communication or you're you were hanging out, they were they are. Um, thinking about your opinions, your thoughts, you know, during your conversation, they were, they're processing it. And ultimately, I feel like this gives this person, the more they think about it, the more they think about you, the more they think about what you say, your thoughts, your ideas, your values, right? The more this person is fascinated about you. And they may not be very action-oriented in terms of getting that relationship right away with you. It feels like they're finding ways on how to land a relationship with you. Huh? It would appear that this person is staying away for now or you know, backing off, but truly they're not. This is someone who's um, <laughs> possibly strategizing on how best to approach you, how best to land that serious connection or commitment. For some of you, Libra, I am getting that when you talk to this person, you probably have taken things pretty lightly or, you know, light and easy. You probably are just joking. You know, this could be a friend that you were joking with and sometimes they give you some hints and even though you get those hints, you try to joke with it you know you, you you kind of do not take things seriously until you hear them say say things seriously yeah but you're attracting this person because your energy is very optimistic it's um lively and happy you exude happiness yeah and this person can see that so even if they stepped away and then you're you're like okay if you want that go ahead you're still bearing the energy of there's a lot of reasons for you to be happy anyway in november whether this is driven or triggered by the holiday period or your travel plans or your job whatever this is right um you exude happiness yeah and optimism and um this is attractive to this person And they want the Two of Cups with you too, Libra. 
For some of you, I feel like you are looking for that new love now. Perhaps this past person is no longer of um, interest to you. Yeah, for, I feel like, you know, it might not be of interest to you anymore. Any Anybody from the past, it may not be of interest. And you are. You're going to get, you're going to have this two of cups coming into you, into your life in November. Yeah. With the Ace of Wands, because it's followed by the Ace of Wands. It's the beginning, you know. You, you will get more, you will get excited. Yeah, there's a reason to be excited. There's a reason to be excited. For some of you, this person, who would likely be your next two of cups, is already within your radar. You already know this person. Perhaps just an acquaintance for now. They may be checking you online, following you. But they haven't said anything yet. Yeah? They haven't expressed anything. But you already probably know this person within your circle. Not, not just your close circle. It could even be your bigger circle. They're checking you out already. Now, it looks like, okay, for, for those of you, okay, wow, Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting that there is someone around you, Libra. Could be your past or the new one. Um, who wants to... Who wants this Ten of Cups? A uh, Ten of Pentacles with you. Wants that serious type of relationship. Wants to be in relationship with you. But one of these people... Could be your past. This is someone who is a little bit immature because... Instead of them really pursuing you, they try to hold back, you know, hold back their aces and kind of waiting for the right time. But the waiting time and the fact that they are not really doing anything much is giving this devil energy vibe. You know, if you're not doing anything, not progressing and not progressing into something better, the relationship is not moving forward or if things need to be addressed but nobody is addressing it then that's the devil type of energy you know not getting anywhere it's toxic but what's funny is they still want to work on this to get that relationship somebody that you already know from the past wants this relationship with you but i feel like this is someone that you kind of really lost interest in yeah, because you stopped talking or somebody was creating a lot of drama. Drama in the sense that they were not consistent and thereby giving a lot of these misunderstandings or misconceptions and all that. Okay. But they still want it. They still want that relationship with you. I, I, I'm just not sure whether you want it because it looks like you are heading... Now you know that you want the two of cups and um, one is coming towards you. So this could even be a new one. Oh, for some of you, it could literally be also somebody who, you know, the moment this Hierophant and the Page of Cups comes in, then it, it can trigger the two of cups energy into your life too. Like somebody will call you, will tell you that, hey, I want a relationship. I want to be romantically, I don't want to be friends. I don't want to be romantically connected to you. I don't want to be casual. Yeah. I want more. And I want both of us. Yeah. To have that give and take. So this itself can trigger that. So it could either be new or old flame. All right. Yeah, I love this. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So, um, for some of you, you were put at the third par um, in a third-party situation in the past. Yeah, If not that, it is because this person really created some deep wounds or somebody here have wounds in the past or even past life or traumas that they have to undergo which may have sabotaged the connection that you may have initially. All right. Now, um, outcome, we have 
yeah strength i feel like from here on libra you will try your best to put in structure in terms of what type of relationship are you going to accept in your life you know it's more about you want a relationship that is thriving be it a relationship in romantic um, business relationship or friendship even you want those type of relationships that give value into your life something that you can hold on to um, and help you enhance your life help you expand your horizon yeah and help you be more abundant in life yeah and vice versa okay and i feel like in terms of love libra if this is what you have been looking for the outcome that is the empress because this is a this pairing is the emperor and the empress it's a divine connection right this is a relationship a relationship of a good match of a great match divine match right so it looks like this whatever type of matching you're going to do this month it will lead to something more um it will lead to something more which will have deeper impact into your life not just in a week in a month but in a few years yeah from here on yeah divine counterpart is more about this is not just for fun of course we can have fun but this is more like two souls reuniting in this lifetime because there is a purpose and the purpose is for two people who are mature enough to face each other and be with each other to build life together. To build an empire together. And so it's simply put, it could be a good relationship coming forward, entering into your life. A relationship that um, you may not expect, but you've probably realized later that something that you will always want. You've always wanted all right the temple of the soul you are on your karmic path so you can unravel the mystery of your karmic debts and the time is now it is time to act now without hesitation move past the old and move forward okay so those are your messages libra i'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe